Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, we have a beautiful solar day going in Hawaii today. So, like many of my videos, we're going to start with the solar array and I'm going to tell you how this lithium iron phosphate system that I've installed over the past year uh, is actually paying for itself and how fast I expect it to have completely paid for itself. So, this is where the system starts. Got a thousand watts of solar. That's uh, two different strings of five 100 monocrystalline panels, 100 watts each. And I, as I could afford over the past year, I kept adding to that system knowing uh, what size I wanted to build. And that 1,000 watts of uh, power coming in is pumping up these two 300 amp hour batteries tied together in parallel so I'm running a 600 amp hour bank and these are all my components so far and if you watched any of my previous videos or want to I've done reviews and how all of these things are working for me and I can tell you as of today still uh, approaching one year of use of everything I've not had a, a single issue with anything as far as working as advertised. Everything in this system continues to work well. The only thing I have to uh, do is tweak a couple of the parameters on the charge controllers uh, here and there to suit my needs. So the entire system so far came in at just under $5,000. I'm going to round it up to to $5,000 and say that so far everything that you have seen uh, comes up to $5,000. I fit it into the uh, budget over the past year and went piece by piece and it gave me the uh, opportunity to learn about the system and all of the components I added and also make uh, any adjustments along the way. So the number one reason for uh, switching over to lithium and upgrading the system was to get off the gas in a couple of different aspects. So for refrigeration uh, for the past 25 years have always used this Dometic style 7 cubic foot fridge. It's a propane refrigerator. They work great but they are absorption refrigerators and in warmer climates they do have some problems and you can see like this one starting to rust out in places but it still works and it's a, a great refrigerator but it does suck some propane and that has since been replaced with a 20 cubic foot a highly efficient LG refrigerator freezer only draws 50 to 70 watts in the running condition or in the running mode and then it uh, just turns off and sits there until the next little cycle. But extremely efficient. Have been extremely happy with this. But here's where the real savings comes in now. Saving gas. These are uh, two 40-pound propane tanks. Uh, about nine gallons each is what they hold. That refrigerator drew... Uh, two to three gallons a week depending on the ambient temperature and propane out here is not cheap so when I was running the Dometic refrigerator one of these tanks would last uh, right at about three weeks so I only had a six week range between the two and of course uh, hot water heat with an on-demand system with no pilot light was ex is extremely efficient and then do still use a propane stove and oven but it was the refrigerator that was uh, hitting this the majority of time hard uh, the cooking and bathing and cleaning hot water doesn't draw hardly any for example this would normally have lasted three weeks I got fully eight weeks two months off of one cylinder since switching over. So that in and of itself is saving 500 bucks a year out here at the current rate of propane and it's actually going up. So besides the propane bill being cut uh, more than in half, 
by quite a bit. Uh, the other huge expenditure is on gasoline. I'm not having to run a generator anymore uh, since I've switched over to lithium, so that's saving uh, quite a bit of money, especially compared to when I was running the lead acid uh, batteries. And the gasoline it took to go and get propane, uh, that's saving me quite a bit of money to have very rough roads out here, so I have to throw in a little uh, annual car maintenance into that expenditure. And by going in and out of here much less now, because the range is further, uh, not only with the lithium, but the refrigeration, food is keeping longer. Uh, I can conservatively say that the savings on, on just that is a $1,000 a year. So when I add up all of my expenses, uh, the gasoline, the propane, the wear and tear on the car, and the food, without going into uh, right to the penny on each thing, I come up with saving uh, $2,000 a year to uh, keep the household running on this system, or, or the way it was before, excuse me. So I'm saving a full $2,000 uh, a year. So at two and a half years, uh, this system has completely paid for itself, which once I did the math and sat down and, and broke it down, I was very very happy about that and a lot of you that are thinking about going off-grid uh, the out-of-pocket initially seems a little steep uh, but I'm from the old days of solar when it was extremely expensive and things have really uh, gotten much more affordable now and you can even do it like I did piecemeal what you can you know add what you can one panel a month or whatever it is but you're gonna start saving money so the other thing I really need to add uh, to this little story here is uh, the convenience of running lithium as opposed to when I was running lead acid for basically the past 25 years. You know, I don't have to get up and monitor these, ba these batteries like I did in the old days where I'd have to get up and make sure I was not dropping below 50%, uh, trying to as best as possible to extend the life of those things. I was always successful, but... I had to pay a lot closer attention to them. Uh, now, with the lithium and the 100% availability, uh, that's not the issue. So the, the pure convenience out of this and being able to not have to worry about hitting that 50% mark to preserve your batteries is really a big deal. And the other thing I used to have to do with the lead acid all the time was, you know, you sit down, you watch a movie or whatever it was, and then, hit that 50% mark, I would shut the entire system down to not draw it any further. With lithium, I'd never turn anything off. Everything's running 24 seven. So that's eliminated that as well. So I hope you guys found this uh, information useful and you found a couple of tidbits that you could consider uh, when you're building your system. And because propane has always been the rural uh, fuel of choice, for those of you living off the beaten path, uh, this can really uh, interrupt that expense. Now, back in the old days, you used to have to build your solar system up to accommodate an electric refrigerator, and it was kind of crazy how many panels and how many batteries of the lead acid sort you had to use. Uh, it's really nice not having to uh, build extreme for a refrigerator anymore, so uh, and also propane back when I'm talking about was about 70 cents a gallon. So uh, it's a different world. I had just sat down and done the math uh, and realized I wasn't going out as often and I wasn't having to lug those propane tanks anymore. So I wanted to break it down to say that the entire system I'm running, two and a half years, I don't have to change a thing. It's paid for itself. Whoops. Aloha, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.